Back in May, Texas Governor Greg Abbott signed a heartbeat bill into law banning abortion when a heartbeat can be detected as early as six weeks. It also gave citizens the green light to sue abortion providers, and now 20 abortion providers are being sued in Texas. In response, MSNBC's host Joy Reid, she tweeted this, quote, so now Texas Republicans are putting bounties on pregnant women. I almost hate to ask what the benighted party will think of next. She continued on to say this, quote, this is Talibanism. Well, let's bring in our company to discuss. We have radio host and New York Post columnist Michael Riedel and Turning Point contributor Aaron Elmore. Michael, Aaron, welcome. Thank you. Thank Good you. to be with you. All right, Aaron, I'm going to start with you. Uh, this heartbeat bill, it's a win for life, ultimately, and frankly, for science. Um, but Joy Reid's tweet is the perfect example of how the left continues to manipulate narratives to fit their agenda. She actually went on to say, what's next for the Republican Party? And she posted um, a clip of Handsmaid's Tale from Hulu, which is pretty much a religious oligarchy that puts fertile women into slavery. Um, for her to compare what is happening in Texas to Handmaid's Tales is absurd. Everything that the left does now seems to be completely hyperbolic and absurd. And this is a big win for science. What's ironic is that the left says things like my body, my choice, but when it comes to vaccine, they change their mind. When the left finds a speck of dust on Mars, they say human life on Mars, but not about the baby in a womb. It's very hypocritical and it's a total double standard. And this is a win for life. I'm a mother and I think that having a child and having children is a beautiful thing. And what Texas is doing is protecting the right to life. And by the way, all the left ever wants to do is take away personal responsibility. There are other ways to avoid having children. Abortion is something that they are pushing on our inner city communities, pushing on minorities, and then turning around and calling us racist. Now that's rich and it's not grounded in reality. Absolutely. Michael, she calls it Talibanism. I feel like this is the strategy of the left. Just call it that they are like Hitler or they are racist and put these fear words on anything they don't like so that people are concerned. Oh, I don't want to be associated with that. Joy Reid, and I want to really address her specifically, is a terrible human being, okay? To compare <laughs> Republicans who believe in life, who believe that... Uh, Abortion is an issue that has to be debated and discussed in a proper free society. To compare Republicans in Texas to Taliban, to people who, by the way, if you're a woman and you're under the Taliban, you're not going to have any rights to anything, period. Joy Reid is one of these insane lefties who thinks any Republican or anyone who supported Donald Trump is a killer, is a murderer, is an insurrectionist, insurrectionist is, a, is a Nazi. And here's the thing. I go after the left all the time, okay? But you never hear me say that AOC is a Stalinist because Stalin killed 25 million people and AOC has not done that. But Joy Reid thinks if you're a Republican, you're the Taliban. That is insane and it's vicious and it's nasty and Joy Reid should be fired. Michael, well said. I think the point about the Taliban is so so rich because you're right. To, to, they they wouldn't have any rights under that. But Aaron, I want to pick up. We all remember when Congresswoman Ilhan Omar compared the United States to the Taliban. I I feel like to to kind of take off on what Michael was saying, the the anyone on the right that kind of crosses the center line and says something, they need to apologize, they need to atone for it, they need to go visit something, right? Um, and we've all seen this happen. But the left says these things. They call people members of the Taliban and, and no one calls them out. And I feel like it's I mean, I, I just I can't believe we're getting to this. I, I agree with Michael. Like, I don't tend to actually be a big fan of name calling. And I know some people say, well, you work for Donald Trump. But at the end of the day, I believe as conservatives, our policies are better. Our way of life, our belief for our country, our communities, our family is stronger and we can beat them with policies, not name calling. But, th but this to me is where we start to get out of bounds. Policies and facts always win and they're always on our side. Unfortunately, there's absolutely no journalistic integrity, journalistic responsibility or journalistic you know, accountability. And what's happening right now is the left can say absolutely anything they want and get away with it. During Pride Month, for example, I posted something about, hey, how many pride parades have you seen in Palestine? Because there aren't any. The left pretends to care about gay rights, but then they say they support the Palestinian Hamas leaders. No way, it's not gonna work. And right now we see in Afghanistan that they're re 
you know, emerging with Sharia law. You know who that's going to oppress? Muslim women. Where is AOC and Ilan Omar and her squad members now? They're nowhere to be found because they know that their whole entire existence is one of hypocrisy and the left wing media is basically a Democrat super PAC just covering up for them. You know, so Michael, I'm, I'm, yeah, I, let me just ask you this and then I want you to wait because I feel like sometimes I'm conflicted on how to fight back, right? Some days I'm like, hey, if we don't fight fire with fire, use the same kind of fiery rhetoric that they do, then we lose, right? But at the same time, I, I, I feel like, you know, it, or we get accused of what aboutism. So how do we folks on the right fight and win? We can be angry when they call us uh, members of the Taliban. We can be angry when they call us white supremacists. We can be angry when they call us Nazis, as they all do. But the best way to beat them is to make fun of them. I mean, I'm a Ronald Reagan Republican. I'm a happy warrior. And uh, Ronald Reagan scored great points, as you know, Sean, off the left. And that's what we have to do. And sometimes all you have to do with someone like Joy Reid, just play what she said and let people decide for themselves and they know what kind of evil human being she fucking is. Uh, yeah, I, I think Absolutely. humor sells. I, I, I'm a big fan of that, I, I agree. And it's sometimes make, exposing them for what they are uh, and and, and, I, and their ideas and making them actually back them up. Like, I think Republicans did a great job on this voter ID. We've got to keep fighting like that. Absolutely. Can I make one more point, though, about the and, left? And this is I, what really- 10 really, seconds really, for you, that's it. Really, this is, <laughs> it's, it's the left that, that's the fascist in this country because they want to stop our right and our opinions and our voice. Yes. They're the fascists. You have to watch Absolutely. out. Absolutely. Yes, Sorry. they don't like a dissenting voice. Michael, Aaron, thanks for being here. Take Always care. Pleasure. Hey, I'm Rob Finnerty. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please join the conversation in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe too. Hit the bell icon to be alerted to breaking news. And remember, there's a whole lot more on Newsmax TV, America's fastest growing cable news network. Newsmax TV, where real news for real people.